There was no reason I shouldn't have a camera, because all I had to do was this. And if you can't do this, if this is too much, then, you know, I was in the wrong business. A slice of a moment, a thousandth of a second of recognition. All I want to do is take pictures. I don't care about anything else. I just knew I had to be out there watching life. Welcome ambiguity and the surreal, even though it's chaos. I realized I had to really jump in people's faces to isolate them. It seemed to me that's what you photograph, the, the instantaneous gesture where life will become clarified. It's the only tool that will stop time itself. It's like a samurai, buff, you know, you, you don't have time to think, you just react. And if you look in my eyes, you know, you'll see that I'm not a normal guy sometimes. I've done some pretty wild things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got beaten up by the cops, and I was covered in blood, my shirt was ripped, I got a couple of teeth knocked out. Was... Get that fucking bitch in that camera away. That's at least your problems, pal. It was Beauty and the Beast, but sometimes the Beast was beautiful. No, I'm comfortable doing what I do because I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Certain rangefinders have magnificent weapons. I think of it as an activist tool. I think of it as something that uh, can give you access to places where you could never be before. She's sitting on, on a toilet, shooting up, and I'm standing on a bathtub taking pictures, and I'm fine. Oh, wow. You know, the deeper you go, the better pictures you'll take. A street can be a, like a nerve ending. It's not the street, it's the life on the street or where the street takes you. That's important.